trying to find some internet so I can get the route loaded. <laughs> no internet. But I downloaded it, but I can't sync it. So where are we today? Riding up the top of Colo. I've been up there before. We're coming from lower Portland, not the Oregon. Uh, gonna cruise up and around. Pretty light, 50K. Should be good. Morning. So it starts with climbing and is mostly flat afterwards. Yeah, back on the gravel, getting out amongst it. Took a week off of the video stuff. Didn't really have anything to do, so indoor trainer filming me in my office riding a bike sweating. Probably pretty boring. <laughs> so I took it off, gonna come back at it, trying to like reframe based on some changes that I've made. It's also sort of wallowing in the lack of incompleted light goals for the year. Didn't ride peaks, didn't ride Bobbin Head Classic. Failing at cycling this year, but I am gonna try to build my FTP back up, which I am lacking. That is something I'm doing for the next six weeks. We will be getting out and doing the, the rides on the weekend, at least when I can. But I also got a job, so that is uh, why well, I gotta balance everything out because I am committed to being committed to a role, an opportunity, uh, which I'm excited about. I may slow up and let Haley catch up. Fifteen percent. <laughs> Luckily, it's short. It's fifteen percent. It was a very steep bit. How far did you get? <laughs> How far is that? Is this like thirty meters? Ten meters? How far is that for you? I'm close to the top. Yeah, it was steep. Fifteen percent. That's a fucking bitch. Lucky it was short uber steep. It'll uh, kind of be like this, but I don't think it's as steep. But there's a couple more red spots. It's dressed up around the corner here. There's resorts out here. It's crazy. Maybe people come out for holidays. I have to look into it. Camping, but yeah, interesting. Lots of dirt, a lot of gravel, lots of spiky hills. So we're almost up the brunt of the climb, I believe. And then it's pretty much downhill and flats all the way back to the truck, which I think will be good just to get out there and get a bit of a gravel endurance in. Awesome, so fun, so nice to be out here. Almost there, keep going. Job.
I think we might have just hit the last of the climbs. It's not very harsh. It's a little bump in the front and then about 1.8k. I think that's the end of the sort of topping out. I thought we were there a little earlier, but it makes sense. We're still only like 10k in. So I think we uh, yet to finish the climbing part. May have uh, prematurely gotten there in my head. Anyway. Interesting, there's a lot of bicycle tracks. Must be a lot of mountain bike riding back here, which would make sense. Only thing allowed back there was bikes. So I think that was a bike track back there. Oh, really like but mountain biking, yeah. I'm always fascinated by just like civilization happening in the middle of nowhere like this. Like it goes up and down to varying degrees, but you can always tell when you're nearing civilization. <laughs> it's just the sprawl of things happening. You know, there's just more crap in the yard, more things going on. It's interesting. <laughs> God, no idea what's happening there, but there's things. It's rural, it's beautiful. It's cool that we kind of have this stuff close to Sydney. Whew, we're out of the gravel. It's like a 60-40 split, so. Yeah, so bit of road, some gravel back. That's it. The brunt of the nasty, I guess, is over. It's all just little little bumps in on the way back. Once we drop down from up top here, pretty flat for I would say the last half of this, which we're nearing. Hey, can you believe how many dicks there are on the road? It's unreal. I mean, there's just dicks everywhere on the road. Dicks, dicks everywhere. Morning. So I think we're legit gonna go down the hill I climbed up. This is the fire station in school I couldn't find water at, but I'm going to now look for water. I still don't really see where there would be water. Anyway, it is what it is. This is the spot. Haley's lost. She doesn't know what I'm doing. Back in Upper Colo. Kicking it. Colo style. It's uh, starting to clear up. It was a bit foggy this morning on this fine Easter Sunday. I've had plenty of chocolate in the lead up. I'm good on my uh, chocolate quota. Uh, here we are in the sun, grinding our way back down. So yeah, I know this descent, so this should be fun for Hales. It's a nice, clean descent. Yoo-hoo! So the roads are much worse than they were when I rode them last time. Just all that weather really does take a toll pretty quickly.
How are you feeling? Good. How was that downhill? If I was going faster, of course it would be scarier. So I took it really, really slow. Really slow. Yeah. Did you let it go at all? Like try to go a little faster every once in a while? A little bit when yeah. I felt like it was. Yeah. You know, we got to get used to going slightly faster than that. Just for if we do any events, right? Stuff to work on. supposed to be on a climb right now. I think they regraded this area. It is not a climb at all. Just flat. I'm sure Heather will be pleased. <laughs> she needs more hills. <laughs> Cars. No idea what's going on out here. A lot of private property and like really built up stuff. Can't quite see it, but it almost feels like a place that shouldn't even be here. Like different kinds of trees and everything. Like a cabin. Yeah, it's so random. I mean, I've never been here before, but didn't really know what to expect, but obviously I'm slightly surprised by it. Uh, cool though. But yeah, really need to know what you're doing over here. Cause there's a lot of private property, but a lot of people camping. So maybe it's just a lot of owned land. Who knows? This road is rubbish. A lot of big holes in it. Which I suppose is good because it means nobody's gonna drive on it necessarily, but bumpy bumper. So like this Somerset camping facility thing is still going and it's all private. Like I have no, it could be a cult, which is like the least likely scenario, but the most fun to think about. But then we think it's for schools, but then it's a lot of stuff just sitting there for schools to use like once or twice, maybe cadets. Oh, I just thought of that. There's a lot of archery, but who knows? It's very weird. It just keeps going and then popping up. There's like a full facility fire, elevated tents and facilities. So it's just very weird cropping in and then going away and cropping in. Anyways. Weird. What is this? Who lives like this out here? Such a weird scenario. How did they get out here? How do they have that much money to be living in the middle of nowhere, paying for all this stuff to be built? It's just kind of mind blowing. Where does it come from? Afternoon, how are you? Sort of a earn it before you finish it climb up the pinchy bits. Definitely a bit harder than I anticipated for the last one. So I'm at the top. It's gonna head down to meet Hales and support her back up because this is uh this is where all the gradient came to get us.
So uh, set in, get ready, because all the gradients up here. It's not that far. All that, all those hills that we were joking we weren't getting, this is where they all are. But just at the top, we turn left and we head down to the park. It feels like downhill. little downhill like that. So we're nearly done. This is the wrap. Good old ride. It's starting to get hot. Glad we're almost in the end. That last climb probably zap tails. So we get ourselves something to eat and head on home. Hope you enjoyed the gravel bit. Probably be a little bit more gravel in my life as I'm aiming to get more out into those gravel events. Yeah, I'm sure you'll see me on the old road too. Enjoy your days. Hope you had a good long weekend and uh, we'll catch you in the next one.